Hello and welcome to this TIBCO Cloud Integration how-to video. This video looks at creating and deploying Node.js apps with TCI. If you have designed your apps in the TCI API modeler, or simply uploaded your open API specs to TCI, you now have the ability to generate simple mock applications, or Node.js skeletons. If you open up the API menu, you can select Generate Node.js code, and it will download a zip file containing the source skeleton. To work with this, you're going to need a suitable code editor. This could be a simple text editor, but a proper IDE makes this simpler. For this video, we are going to be using Visual Studio Code and the TCI plugin that is available from our GitHub site. Also, you will need to have a TIBCO Cloud Integration account. If you don't already have one, please sign up here for a free trial. You will need to download the TCI command line tool from the downloads menu of your account. This download is customized for your TCI account. If you want to run and test the Node.js locally, you will also need a working Node.js environment. Version 4 is a minimum. Now that we have our environment, let's unpack the Node.js skeleton into a working directory. If we open up the unpacked directory in VS Code, we can examine the structure. The generated project uses the Express framework. It's generated from the API spec using the Swaggerize Express GitHub project. You also have the option to create a basic Node.js project using the VS Code plugin. In the root directory, we have a number of files. The server.js is the code that starts the application with the HTTP server running on the default port of 8000. Please do not change this port because it's required for the runtime environment. The package.json file contains the application's metadata, for example, name and version, along with dependency information. In the config directory, we have the Swagger source from the API modeler. In the util directory, there is a special logger function that you should use to get information logged into the TCI logs so that messages can be viewed in the web browser interface. The test directory contains some sample test cases for testing the application. The code samples are based on the tape testing framework. The handlers directory contains generic code to handle the events received by the HTTP server. The actual implementation of the event is the code in the data directory. This is a structure based on common best practices, but you are free to design your code according to your own requirements. The data directory contains code that implements the API, returning randomized responses. Let's have a look at how we could customize this. In our API, we have two resource paths. The first is slash products, where we have both a get and a post. This is implemented in the products.js file in the data directory. The second is slash products slash product ID, which is implemented in the product subdirectory in the file product ID surrounded by braces. Let's have a closer look at these. First, the products.js. This is the JavaScript file for the products resource. We can see here the code has separate sections for the get and post methods. Within the post, we have different sections for each of the defined response codes. In the generated code, it calls a routine that generates data based on the Swagger definition. What we will do here is replace this call to respond with a simple custom response. And we'll do the same for the other response. This sends back our string responses. We can look at a more complicated response for the get with a product ID. Here we'll add a bit of logic that returns a response that contains the product ID and the generated price. And for product ID 2, it'll pass back a response that is different, with different values and a different price range. And now we can modify the 404 response as well. The next thing we need to do is add logging. Normally with Node.js, you would use a standard logging framework to handle your logging requirements. However, as your application is going to be running in a managed environment, we need to use the supplied logger function that will enable the log to be accessed from the browser console. We need to call the logger with the log level and the message. The 
Lastly, we're going to amend the handler code to invoke our 404 response. At the moment, the get only handles the 200 response. So let's make some changes so that if we use a product ID of 10 or more, we get a 404 not found. But for other codes, we'll get a dynamic response. Now that we have made our changes, we will want to test this locally. Using the TCI plugin for Visual Studio Code, we can run this from the IDE. Once it's started, we can test it via Postman. Now that we have the results we expected, we can deploy to TCI in the cloud. We could do this using the browser UI or the TCI command line tool on the command prompt, which could also be used in your CI CD scripts as part of your overall deployment process. As we are working in VS Code, we could use the TCI plugin to push the app to TCI. But let's just use the build function to create the deployment artifacts and then push it via a command prompt. After you have created the deployment, we can see two files in the deployment directory, the app zip and the manifest.json. We can now start the app push process from that directory. And if we switch to the web UI, we can view the progress. Once the API is deployed, we can test using an external tool or in the browser tester. Let's run a couple of commands and check that we get the results that we expected. Let's now navigate to the log and see the message that the code has written to the log. As with other TCI apps, we can scale our apps from the console. Scaling them down to zero keeps the API in TCI without any running instances. Also remember that TCI CLI can perform the scaling too, so you can automate the deployment and scale at the same time. Another deployment option is to deploy the app via the browser UI. From the apps menu, click create. Give the new app a name and click create. Select the Node.js app type and drag and drop the created assets to the browser. And click push. And the app will be deployed. This demo is just an overview of TCI functionality. Other videos will go into more detail about specific pieces of functionality. These are available on our YouTube site. If the videos don't answer all your questions, join our bi-weekly live demos. These will delve deeper into TCI functions and features and allow you to ask questions. Other ways to find out information is to visit the TCI area on the community site. The community gives you the opportunity to share insights with other TCI users, get ideas and updates on TCI features. From the community, you can find a link to our GitHub site. Our GitHub site has a number of projects and samples to help you get the most out of your TCI subscription. Lastly, if you have ideas or suggestions for TCI, you can submit them at ideas.tibco.com. Tibco Cloud Integration empowers users to quickly and easily connect applications and APIs, all from their browser. To see how TCI can help you, Sign up for a free 30-day trial at cloud.tibco.com.